In this video, I speed run getting a segmentation fault in C, code golf style. For those web devs that have no idea what I'm talking about, a seg fault occurs when a program attempts to access a memory location it isn't allowed to. The classic culprit is dereferencing a null point. Let's see what this example would look like. First, we include the standard header file for the null macro. Then, inside main, we assign a pointer p to be the null pointer. When we attempt to dereference p, we cause a seg fault. Let's confirm that this works. So I'll compile and run the program. And segmentation fault, just as expected. This example is quite long to speedrun. It's over 70 characters. So one optimization would be to remove the include statement and replace null with zero, because going to the zero location would also cause a seg fault. So let's see if this works. Segmentation fault, just as expected. One very easy optimization would then be to remove all the extra fluff. So things like int is not needed because the compiler will default your type declarations to be int. We can remove a lot of the white space as well because that's just for easy of read, but we're going for as few characters as possible. In addition, we can remove the entire return statement because we don't care about what main is returning. There we go, that seems pretty tight. Segmentation fault. This time we also get a warning about defaulting to an integer, but that's okay. This version is 22 characters, but we can do a little bit better by dereferencing 0 directly instead of storing it in p. So let's say p will be some integer parameter of main, and then we will cast 0 as a pointer, and then dereference it. This shaves off one character, Segmentation fault. Any further optimization will likely require a different approach. In the standard library, there is a raise function that can literally signal a segmentation violation. So let's try doing that instead of dereferencing a null pointer. So inside main, we'll call raise with a parameter of 11 for segmentation fault. Seg fault and less warnings this time, which is a win-win. This approach gets us to 18 characters and is much easier to type than having the dereference pointers. However, I think we have one more trick. Instead of causing a segmentation fault by directly signaling it, we can also cause one by overflowing the stack with an infinite recursive loop. So inside main, we'll call main again, which calls main, and so on. So let's see if this works. Segmentation fault, just as expected. Now we have a speed runnable 16 characters version of the segfault program. The timer will start when I type the first letter and ends when segmentation fault is visible. In this case, I'm just using a file called c.c, that way it's fewer letters to type. So let's get to it. Done. We clearly have a segmentation fault using the main main method. 7 seconds to get a seg fault is pretty good. Let me know if you can beat that time. Like and subscribe to prevent getting a seg fault on your next big project, and I'll see you in the next one.